Hi, I'm just going to quickly show you how to make a word cloud using tags in Taget or the text that you've selected in the documents that you're coding in Taget. So the first thing you want to do once you're into your project in Taget is to click on the Highlights tab on the left and then See All Highlights. Once you've done that, you'll export it and we're going to export it to Excel. And by exporting to Excel rather than another format, it just makes it a little bit easier to select either the tags or the uh, the text that you've uh, that you've highlighted. So I've, I'm exporting it to Excel. I'll hit Save. Then I'll click on the download to open it up in Excel. And here it is. So the first thing we're going to do is make a word cloud out of the tags. So I'm going to select the tags. And then I'm going to go Edit and Copy. I'm going to go back to the web browser now. And I'm going to go to wordart.com. You need to create an account there. It's free, but uh, you do need to create an account before, you've, before you start. I've already logged in. So I'm going to hit the Create Now button. And over here you can see not only can you make word clouds, but you can make them in other shapes as well. But I'll hit Create Now. Click the Create button on the left here. And then on the left here, I'm going to click, click on Import. And I'm just going to paste in the data from Excel now by going Edit and Paste. And then click on Import Words. After you've done that, just to get a basic Lord Cloud, all you need to do is click on the Visualize button here. And here we go. We've got a basic Word Cloud. One thing that I don't like about the default is that it repeats some of the words here. So we've got British here, we've got British there. I really don't want it repeated, so I'm going to click on the Options button and then Repeat to None. Close. And then I have to hit the Visualize button one more time. The other thing, I'm not really fond of this font, so I'm going to go into Fonts. I'm going to select, I don't know, Roboto. It could be anything though. And then hit the Visualize button. And there we go. We've got a little more, uh, little more standard font. If you don't like the layout, you just click Visualize again and it'll randomize the layout. So I'll do this a couple of times. And there we go. So let's go back to the workshop activity. Actually, we're going to go back to the spreadsheet, I mean. And instead of selecting uh, the tag, we're going to select the content. But you'll notice here that I've tagged some passages with more than one tag. So for example, there's humor and education, and it's repeated the text over here, which we don't want. So we're going to consolidate the passages so there's only one passage and not doubling up on the passages. And the way we do this is we highlight everything from content down, click the insert button, and then pivot table. And then we click OK. And again, this is just going to consolidate those passages. If I click on the content checkbox there, and it tells us that there's 19 passages, and then I drag this down to rows, and voila, it's consolidated all the passages. So we'll copy all of the text here, and again, there's just one, one passage per line, and I'll go to Edit and Copy. Go back to my web browser. I'm going to go to Word Art and click Create Now. We're going to create a new Word Art hit Create, and then I'm going to click on the Import button, and then I'm going to Edit and Paste, and then Import Words. So again, I don't want the words to duplicate, so I'll click on Options and Repeat None, and then Close, and then I'll hit the Visualize button. And there we go. There's a word cloud of all of the all of the words in the passages that I selected. One thing I'm going to do a little different here. I'm going to hit Shape, 
And I'm going to, let's say, make it a heart just because that's one of the first things and visualize. And there we go. We've got a heart. Now, uh, the other thing that we're going to want to do to put this in a document or on a website is download. And PNG is a good format. And I'm going to go uh, test word cloud and save. And there we go. Just open it up so you can see what it looks like. And there's my word cloud that I've exported. Well, I hope that helps and lets you know how to take your tagette tags and passages and turn them into word clouds.